Going to the dentist is something that can fill most of us with dread. The noise from the dental instruments and their working on your mouth is often enough to make people want to run away. Dentists may be wearing masks to cover something up, but they actually have even more secrets. Here are the top 10 secrets they don't want you to know. Number 10. Reversing dental problems on your own. We've always thought that when we have tooth problems like cavities, it warrants a trip to the dentist. But what if I told you that you could fix it on your own? Excess sugar and lack of vitamins are two main factors that contribute to tooth decay in cavities. It makes an animal-busting bacterium rampant while making your teeth weak. So naturally, removing sugar from your diet and increasing your nutrient uptake should help your teeth heal on their own without the need for amalgam fillings. Pair that with good oral hygiene by thoroughly brushing and you should be fine. What about toothache? Not all tooth pain is caused by cavities, so if that's not the reason, you can help ease it without even taking medicine. All you need is basic knowledge of acupressure. What you can do is simply press the hand on the affected side, specifically midway between the base of the index and thumb and hold for a few minutes. That should naturally release endorphins, relieving pain in the process. Number 9. Regular Dental Checkup and Flossing Regular dental checkups and flossing are two of the most commonly given recommendations in ensuring optimal oral health. But are they really needed? The quick answer is no. Let's start with a concern about how often you should visit the dentist. Most of them would usually suggest that you go for consultation once every six months. But the truth is that it varies. Children can go at least once a year since their teeth decay faster, while adults who don't have any dental issues can wait up to two years. They can even postpone it until over two years, provided that they're mindful of how to take care of their teeth. It all depends on the individual cases. As for flossing, many health experts say it's needed in order to dislodge or remove leftover debris in between teeth and prevent cavities. However, there's very little to no substantial proof linking regular flossing with oral health. There are many factors that contribute to healthy teeth and gums, and even after numerous studies, there's no clear benefit from flossing. Number 8. The Truth About Brushing You know how commercials and advertisements always tell you to brush three times a day? The truth is, it doesn't have to be that often. You can get by with just brushing twice or even once a day, provided that you do it right. They just tell you to do it three times a day to increase the chances of you doing it properly, but if you do it right once, you're good to go. Bacteria buildup has to happen around for 48 hours in order for it to cause any harm. It's also important to consider what you eat. Toothbrushing today is much more important than it used to be because we eat so much more sugar than our ancestors did. So does that mean when your toothpaste gets foamy as you brush, we're already doing a good job? Wrong again, the foam is just meant to help you spread the toothpaste more easily, but it doesn't really help with cleaning. It just makes you believe that your mouth feels tidier. If there's one thing that you have to pay attention to, it's how long you've been using your toothbrush. It needs to be changed every three months, or it harbors harmful bacteria. So you see, your dentist isn't handing a new one to you to promote a certain brand. Number 7. Optimal Time for Appointments When we really have to visit the dentist, the tendency is that most of us try to look at the time the clinic opens and then opt for a schedule during the first hour. Apparently, we've been doing it wrong. Being the first patient for the day might not be the greatest idea as far as a dental workup is concerned. Most dentists admit that they're at their best after the first or second patient is done. That's what it takes to get their nerves to wake up and function at their prime. So if their clinic opens at 8, probably the best time to schedule your dental appointment will be around 9 to 11 in the morning. If that's the best time, the worst time will most likely be after lunch. That's usually the time when they're full from their meals and their bodies usually go into a stage where you just want to take a quick nap just like us. After all, they're humans too. Number 6. The Dirty Secrets of Bib Clips During our dental examinations and treatments, it's always a must that they should put a protective cloth around our necks, known as bib clips. But guess what? They're actually dirty and nasty. According to researchers at Tufts University School of Dental Medicine and the Force of Institute, most dental clips harbor considerable amounts of bacteria coming from either the previous patient or the dentist and the assistant as well. And get this, even after the prescribed disinfection procedures, there are still germs left on it. The said study shows that even after thorough disinfection, 40% of the tested bib clips had one or more aerobic bacteria. Meanwhile, 
70% retain anaerobic bacteria. That's a rather foreboding number. Moreover, they found out that rubber face metal bid clips have more bacteria retained. So, the next time you visit your dentist, you might want to demand a brand new bib just to be on the safe side. Number 5. Dental insurance isn't cost effective. We're in an era when getting insurance is a wise thing to do. That is particularly true when it comes to matters concerning general bills, business, and others. But for dental needs, you're just wasting your hard-earned cash. Dental insurance is nothing but a bad deal all in all. Insurance is supposed to cover you for catastrophic losses or unexpected events, but dental care doesn't fall under those categories. More or less, there are telltale signs when you have oral health issues at the very onset. Moreover, there are relatively smaller charges when it comes to oral health. Compare that with how much you pay for dental insurance, and you'll feel like you just threw money out the window. Insurance companies are not charitable institutions. Rather, they aim to make money. That's why they foresee bigger premiums disguised as affordable monthly payments. You can take advantage of the service for more serious concerns, but dental problems rarely are expensive, if not recurring. Number 4. Whitening teeth can be dangerous. Almost everyone wants to have glistening, pearly, white teeth. A lot of commercials out there give us the notion that ivory-like teeth look fabulous, prompting us to utilize bleaching. But did you know it can be risky? There are dangers associated with trying to make your teeth whiter. For one, it can aggravate tooth sensitivity if you already have one. What's worse is that it could even cause damage to the roots of your teeth, and that's not a pretty picture at all. Before you even consider whitening your teeth, you first need to consult a trusted dentist. Most discolorations are brought about by personal habits such as drinking coffee or smoking, or sometimes it could be side effects of medication. Moreover, there are those that are just caused by superficial stains which can easily be treated through proper oral hygiene or a simple cleaning procedure from your dentist. Number 3. They might not have the latest technology. Why did we start fearing dentists? You can probably blame that on scary ancient dental instruments such as the Wilcox Jewett Obtunder used to inject cocaine into patients' gums for anesthetic purposes, and the clockwork drill, which is known to be quite painful and frightening. While dental clinics today don't use those anymore, that doesn't mean their sets of equipment aren't antiquated. There are some who might not have the latest technology, and that should be a concern for you. If they aren't updated, then you're better off with another clinic. Some of the latest advances you can ask from your dentist is if they have digital x-rays, ultrasonic cleaning, and CEREC, just to name a few. While digital x-rays and CEREC aren't necessarily cheap and can be very costly on their part, it's your dental well-being that's on the line, right? So you deserve to have the most up-to-date techniques when it comes to dental care. Number 2. Mysterious Dental Instruments Now that you're already on the dental chair, did you notice something suspicious like the dentist is trying to hide stuff from you? The truth is, they are. But it's for your own good. Dentists practice what's known as hidden transfers between them and their assistants as they pass certain instruments, like syringes and curettes, between each other. The rationale behind this is so that you don't get anxious when you see them. How would you feel if you saw even a tiny drill? Some of us might probably freak out as far as the freaking out part is concerned. This isn't a sentiment that's uncalled for. You see, they can be dangerous, considering the dentist has to use high-powered equipment to break into the hardest part of the human body, which is the enamel. Some patients jerk or move while the dentist is working, and that might catch them off guard, injuring the insides of your mouth in the process if they aren't prepared for it. That's scary. Number 1. Where your extracted teeth go. If you've had your tooth extracted and not received it later in a container, did you wonder where it went? Do they dump it in the trash? The fact is they collect it. Don't worry, they aren't psycho or anything. Rather, it's for academic purposes. Some dentists keep them in a safe place for their own practice, while some would give it to dental students. Dental students are usually asked to get lots of extracted teeth, sometimes around 100, so that they can practice on them for several procedures before stepping up to real people. How do they practice on them, you ask? Some attach the collected teeth to a dental phantom, and it is as creepy as it sounds. They align them on a metal model, which looks like a scary mold that resembles the head of a human. And as always, for academic purpose, they begin working on it. More often, they use teeth from corpses. Just imagine how terrifying it looks. Are there any other secrets you think I should have mentioned? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
Thanks for watching.